Hi, welcome to this tutorial. We have uh, created Arch Merge version 6.0. We have it loaded up in a virtual box and we're going to go th over the installation procedure. So there is an article on archmerge.com. What do you do with this ISO? You can burn it to a DVD or you can burn it to a USB. It's explained for Apple or Mac, Windows and Linux. You have to set your BIOS to boot from that medium you've chosen, and then you get this. This is a graphical interface. This is XFCE we're looking at. Plank is already available. This is Plank. And what we see is Calamares. Calamares is a very interesting tool. It installs Linux systems graphically. So you choose your own language, and then you move on. Since I'm in VirtualBox, it doesn't know that I'm living in Brussels, but when you install it on SSD, then he'll know it, and then that's okay, that's set automatically. This is normal that the keyboards are not, have, do not have letters, even when you change, that's normal. Just choose your keyboard and then say next. My advice always is just install one operating system per SSD because I, I quit using hard disks. I only use SSD and have about 10 15 of them. And what I do is switch. I install Solus, I install Linux Mint, and I check the Sardi and the Servant icons and I make more icons for it. But I will never mix them together. It makes my life easier. But you can. So there is a possibility to install them on the site, replace, erase, and many more. So my choice always is this one. What happens with my documents? Well, I'll use OneDrive, I'll use Dropbox, I use Google Drive, things like that. We type everything in and we want to show people, look, I am using ArchMerge. It's 6-0-0. Have to type these dashes because he will not accept these things. And then we type our password. If you say login automatically, you will be logged in with XFCE. Of course, you can change afterwards. So I rather like that, that I'm automatically logged in. If you don't like that, you just uh, tick this off and then that's that. And then we go ahead. You recheck everything and then you say next. So that's that. That was all the technicality you can expect. That's not much. There is some information here available. So what is uh, Arch Merge? Arch Merge is a merger. It's three things together. It's XFCE, it's Openbox, and it's i3. We believe it's interesting to get to know Arch Linux. Arch is a very solid, fast uh, system and a distro. And we've built Arch Merge on top of Arch. So it's if you would say it in, in children's term, it's a Lego box. It's Lego, you have your building blocks and you build your own distro based of different elements from Arch and the AUR. AUR is Arch User Repository, some people making scripts to build applications to have Spotify, for example. So these things um, can be created with uh, well, programs, and in the end, you'll get an ISO. You see here some pop-ups. So this is i3, gaps, meaning there are gaps between the windows. It's a tiling manager. Openbox is then a minimalistic uh, window manager. It has a right mouse click on the desktop to get to the menu. It's a bit tricky. So if you are accustomed to Ubuntu or to um, Linux Mint and stuff like that, it will be, again, feeling like like um, well a beginner a noob like they say and um, you have to start from scratch learning how does open box work and if you have mastered that and you go to i3 you still have patience to 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 run your computer to uh, activate your computer then you can start learning i3 and you'll need a little bit more patience with that uh, like i did maybe um, it's quite um, Interesting to, to learn it, it's fast, it's minimal, but it's keyboard driven. So you really need to read the config file. Without reading the config file, you're lost. Yeah? That's the advice I give you. In the meantime, he's 
half, halfway, but uh, this part goes quickly, as you can see. I know by now, after 100 installations of Arch Labs and Arch Merch, I do know when it gets faster. <laughs> yeah, well, we're done. So we restart now. Done. Since I'm now in VirtualBox, he wants to reinstall it. But the only thing I have to say now is, look, I've installed it. Boot from the existing operating system or hard disk, in this case, it's a file in VirtualBox, but uh, and there you go. After about eight seconds, I think, on my hardware, everything is um, present and I can work. Okay, let's go into detail about what it does, what it is. And um, this was a video about how to install it.